What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. So before we get into the actual video, I do want to let you guys know about a pretty big announcement that I'm excited about. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but if you don't, I'm going to let you know what it is right now. I came out with my own ebook the other day. It's titled The Beginner's Blueprint to Diet and Training. And basically I've been working on this for a couple of months. It's a 28 page book really geared towards beginners just to give you everything that you need to know to really get you on your way to making progress. I know what it was like when I first started lifting. I had no idea what to do. And this is basically what I wish I had when I first joined the gym because it would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of confusion and it would have gotten me on my way to making progress much, much sooner than I ultimately did. So I'm just gonna show you a quick little preview of it. Uh, if you go onto my Instagram, I have the link on there. All you have to do is click the link. It brings you to the page here and, whoa, back up, Paul, back up brings you here, this is the cover, I'm not sure if it's focusing. Uh, if you hit, there's a preview button here, it'll show you the first five pages, basically the introduction. And then if you scroll down, it gives you a little bit more, it gives you the topics included, and you can buy it. So, it's like I said, it's really geared towards beginners. I recommend you at least check out the preview, and if you're interested or have any questions, let me know. And if you wanna buy it, go ahead and buy it. So, that's enough about that. Um, in this video, after this little announcement, we, you're going to see us in the city. Uh, we, went, we are going to Central Park to rent bikes, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we are also headed to an Italian restaurant to hang out with my family who's in from Florida. And after that, I will probably take you through a bench press workout. So we got a lot going on in this video, and enjoy it. City. We are walking to Central Park where I told you guys we have bike rentals, so uh, we'll show you some of the city and we will catch up to you on the bikes. So, Paula, what are we doing? Getting a donut. Tell them about the, this is the only Krispy Kreme in all of New York. This is the only Krispy Kreme in New York, and it's at Penn Station. So we might miss the train, but we're going to get one. We're not going to miss the train. One. Mandy, do you want anything? One. Her first Krispy Kreme. First Krispy Kreme ever. Do you want a bite? I want you to take a bite. Really good. Oh, wow. I haven't had one of those in like 10 years. I know. Just had to remember it. 
Okay. All right, guys. So we are about to head home on the train. She's gonna finish up the donut. Uh, that's gonna wrap up this part of the video. I think the next clip you will see is the gym. So hit the thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far, and I will see you in the next clip. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the workout. I hope you enjoy the city footage. It's kind of funny. We live so close to the city, but we rarely ever go. I'm just not really too big of a fan of the city. But anyway, here is my latest bench press workout. I do take you through every single exercise that I do in this workout. And I made a couple, or maybe at least one major change that I'll go over when I get to it. But I did just want to address what I announced in the beginning of this video, which was the ebook. And since the ebook is about beginners, I'll also discuss some mistakes that I find that beginners tend to make when they start training. But just to give you a little bit more insight behind the ebook as I do this AMRAP setup, just real quick, this bench workout, um, I'm doing 12 to 15 reps on my accessories, and this was the 5 plus week on my main lift. So between the extra reps on the main lift and then the extra reps on the accessories, this workout and my squat workout yesterday really took a lot out of me. So anyway, back to the ebook. So really what made me decide to write the ebook was as my social media began to grow on Instagram, I started getting more and more messages and at first I'd be able to respond to all of them and feel like I was giving adequate adequate responses to everyone and I felt like I was actually helping people out. But it got to a point where I was getting like 50, 60, even up to 100 messages on certain days from people basically asking me the same questions like over and over again and I couldn't respond to every single one of them giving the kind of detailed responses that I really wanted to give and I wasn't feeling very good about myself not really being able to give the help I was trying to because I kind of got what I wanted I grew to the point where I was actually making a big enough impact on people but then I got to the point where I wasn't really able to give back to what I was hoping because I was getting too many people asking for help and I couldn't, I didn't have a good way to respond to all these um, and give the attention that I felt like I really wanted to. So instead I decided to write an ebook which is strictly geared towards beginners. So if you're really more advanced, uh, the book's probably not for you, but it's really geared towards beginners. It really is what exactly what I was looking for when I first started lifting. So it really, it covers what you should be eating, how to set up your diet, the routine that you should stick to for at least the first year supplement so it really answers all those questions that beginners have that they don't really know where to go to to get those answers so this is basically designed to cut out that first six months to a year two years all that time that you spend wondering what to do experimenting hopping from routine to routine really confused and not really knowing your way around the gym so the, the goal of the book is really to allow people to do that and the way I look at it as I mean it's 1999 in my opinion it's worth a little bit more but I figure uh, with the 1999 with the book you also have the ability to ask me any questions e even unrelated to the book for life so it kind of for me it's a way to weed out people who are just trying to waste their time and waste my time who aren't really serious about help so if you're actually serious about the gym you're serious about making progress you'll be willing to buy the book and then I'll know for sure if you're actually taking it seriously and I'll be more willing to uh, give you even more time after that uh, answering your questions rather than the people who really aren't too serious and they're just wasting their time and then they're wasting my time asking for help when they're not even going to listen to my advice so that's the story really behind the book um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box to go check it out so I recommend you do that like I said it's really more towards beginners so uh, even if you're intermediate you'll probably still find it an interesting read um, but that's up to you it's really more towards beginners like the title says um, here I am back to pendele rows. I was doing barbell rows for a while, but I kind of felt like I my form I didn't like the way my form felt, so I decided to go back to pendele rows, lower the weight a bit, and today they felt pretty good. Um, now, since the book is about beginners, just a couple of things that I find beginners tend to do. Um, the first thing beginners want to do is they want to rush their progress. So they see their goal physique and they want to be there overnight. Um, they don't realize that you can't really gain muscle, lose fat at the same time, you're not going to get there overnight. It takes time. So you really need to just set shorter term goals rather than long term goals and take it baby steps at a time. Uh, that's the first step. That's the first mistake. The second mistake is beginners tend to focus on the little things that don't matter and lose picture of the I lose sight of the big picture things. So they focus on little things like, oh, should I take whey protein 30 minutes after my workout? That doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things if you're not even following a solid routine. Um, so, I mean, stuff like that, I feel like beginners, they really tend to focus on things that don't matter. And in the book, I do have a chapter called 10 Things I Wish I Knew When I Started Working Out. And in that, I go over 
what it sounds like 10 things that I wish I knew when I started working out. So that's just one of the chapters. There's a chapter based on it, basically how to figure out your macros for different goals. Even in the macro chapter, I also talk about how I recommend tracking your diet if you don't want to be too strict and track macros precisely, but you still want to generally track your macros to make progress. I go over that. I go over uh, routines if you're a beginner, a sample routine that I recommend. And then I also include an intermediate routine that I recommend as well. Go over a little bit about supplements. And it's nothing too crazy, but like I said, it's everything that I wish I knew when I was a beginner. It would have saved me a lot of time, and I wouldn't have been as frustrated as I was when I first started lifting. So anyway, as a thank you to you guys who are still watching this video, I'm going to be putting a discount code on the screen right here. This will give you 25% off the ebook if you are interested in buying it. I figure you guys on YouTube, if you're still watching this video about 10 minutes in, you've been the most supportive of me. Uh, since I started the social media journey a little over a year and a half ago. So as a way to say thank you for your support, I am going to put the code on the screen right here. Uh, this code will expire in 48 hours from this video being released. So the video comes out on Monday, 12 o'clock Eastern time. So it'll be only be good till Wednesday, 12 o'clock Eastern time. So uh, I guess you have about two days to decide if you want it. If you have any questions about the book or about anything in general, typically the best way to reach out to me is either DM on Instagram or my email. I'll respond there the fastest. You could also leave a comment below. Uh, but like I said, I won't be posting this anywhere else other than the screen here. So you guys who have supported me the most have, get, have this special discount. So hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.